All right, so we're going to investigate the normal channel uh, of this Voodoo amp. Uh, we only changed this just a very, very, very minor amount. Um, and that was just to give it a little clarity at low volume. Um, we are using a Gibson Melody Maker with Sunday hand wound mini humbuckers. Uh, standard volume tone. It is wired 50s Les Paul style. We are in the middle position. So, that said, uh, I have some Bai Yang Tri Reverb on. And what you just heard also had on stage one of my Napalm pedal, which is a two-stage overdrive. Um, basically, it's my version of a clone paired with my version of a rat. Uh, they go very well together. So, again, here is that clean tone. Now, my bridge pickup is Alnico 4, my neck pickup is Alnico 2. So what does it sound like just on the neck? So, it has a really good clean tone, and in case you can't tell in the video, my presence is on 6, bass is on just before 4, middles are between, uh, well actually middle is about 5, and treble is on 6, master is at the top of the 0, and my uh, volume is on about 3. So, uh, that's clean tone for you. Now, what do you say? Turn down that master a little bit, turn the bass down to two. Let's turn the volume up to, oh, what is that? Just past six in the bridge. Gotta get a happy medium with this master here. That way I'm not blowing myself out of this small room. And that was, of course, in the bridge. Now, what I did on this was just give it a little bit of clarity uh, at lower volumes. There really was nothing wrong with the channel. Uh, it just needed uh, to play nice at lower volume. Um, it actually sounds a lot like a Tweed Bassman or a JTM 45 in the normal channel uh, because it pretty much is. Um, the components are pretty much the same, not much is different. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the tone you have out of your normal channel. Now if I slide on over to the lead channel, uh, this is a different story. This particular channel is voiced like a 69 um, lead plexi. So, uh, super lead, uh, as most people refer to them. However, uh, what most people don't understand or don't know or don't care is that there were quite a few versions of the super lead, um, and some of them had minor differences in various components. 
uh, slope resistor, uh, treble capacitor, um, quite a few little differences. And as far as this one is concerned, we did make some changes um, with the treble capacitor that uh, connects up to the slope resistor. I actually ended up leaving the 33K slope resistor as opposed to the 56K. Um, because the 56K 250PF combo, that really gets you into the JTM45 territory or even into the super base territory. Um, to be more in the lead territory, uh, the 33K works really well and I actually prefer a 330PF as opposed to the 510PF uh, that is spec'd on a 69 super lead. Uh, it gives it a little browner tone. Um, a super lead can be quite brittle uh, at extremely low volume as it is designed. Uh, but what this is, what we ended up doing here was give you the tone of the 69 super lead uh, with the infamous uh, bright cap clipped type of tone. Um, but we retained the low volume bass, the low volume clarity. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to go, uh, actually, you know what, while we have up that up there, I'll go ahead and give you the uh, overdriven tone with these mini humbuckers. Again, we are in the bridge. <laughs> using Ted Weber Gray Wolf speakers, 75 watts and a 412 cab. Uh, this is a one inch uh, marine birch plywood 412 cabinet. It is a straight cab. Um, pretty hefty, heavy duty design uh, and it sounds really good, uh, especially with those Gray Wolf speakers. Uh, they do enhance your upper frequencies a little bit. So as you can tell, you know, if you're gonna use a greenback uh, you're going to have more than enough bottom end. Uh, if you use a G12H30, you'll have more than enough bottom end. Um, the Grey Wolf is kind of a blend. It sits somewhere between a classic lead 80 and a vintage 30 to my ears. Um, they sound really good. I like them. So again, here is the overdriven tone on the lead channel. <laughs> with no effects that's just dry signal that is guitar cable and amplifier at extremely low volume okay so now let's go over and see what kind of a clean tone we can get out of this lead channel I'm gonna bring my bass back up to about four volumes down on four let's go up to the middle position let's turn on a little bit of reverb and let's turn our napalm pedal on stage one, just like we had on the normal channel. Bridge. see it has more than enough gain even at three on the volume to overdrive that lead channel when you dig in a little bit in the bridge position uh, this 
mini humbucker is about, I think it's about 8.2K in the bridge Alnico 4. Uh, don't hold me to that. Um, however, uh, it has a very good clean tone. It has a very good overdriven tone. Um, now, let's leave volume on four. We'll leave everything where it is. We'll turn on a tube screamer. We don't really have to change the bass when we pop on a tube screamer because it kills bass. Here we go. <laughs> So there you have it. Classic tones. It's really cool. Catch y'all later.